So you want to create an eyeball, but you're not pregnant, so I guess you do the next best thing, and you create a fake one in Blender. Hey guys, one by Touch by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at <laughs> how to make an eyeball in Blender 2.8 Eevee. And uh, I'm in, I, I usually always test things before I do it. I'm in my test scene right now because I wanted to make sure everything was cool and set up the way that I wanted it because it took a while to get this material properly. So we're going to go ahead and close this all down. I'm going to go back to the default scene, well, close to the default scene anyway. So I'm going to show my overlays here. And uh, the default scene has all this stuff in. I'm going to delete the, the sphere for now. But we're going to hit Shift A and add back in the cube. Yeah, and now we're going to just, we're going to add default cube, and we're going to try and spin the camera to about where it is when it starts, right, which is like there, and then object mode. All right, so, pretend I just opened this scene up, and it's new. <laughs> we're going to hit de delete on default cube. I'm sorry, default cube. We're going to hit shift A, and of course, we're going to add in a UV sphere, because it's super easy to make irises and eyeballs from these things. Um, we're going to stroll on in here, and hit uh, period to zoom in close so I can rotate nice and easy. Hit tab to go into edit mode. And now what we can do is hit uh, A to double tap A to deselect everything. Hit C to go into brush mode. And now what we're going to do is we're going to select all of these vertices right here. But it's it's difficult to select vertices. So I'm going to go to face select mode. And this little face icon up there, the little, the little square box thing. I'll scroll in a little bit here. Uh, middle mouse button to pan around my scene. And then shift to kind of do like this. Middle mouse button. Holding down shift and then middle mouse button. All right. So hit C, brush mode. I'm just going to brush all of this. Uh, maybe these first three rings about, maybe. Yeah, those. Uh, then right-click to cancel the um, brush mode. And then go over here to the Material tab. And I'm going to go ahead and hit New. Um, and you'll see exactly why in a second. I'll go ahead and I'll, we'll transfer the other material onto this one once we've done everything. But for now, we'll just hit New. Um, and then that's just this is supposed to say Material. Just pretend that says Material. Um, yeah. Just pretend it says Material. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, change this base color to a nice green color because I like green eyes. Um, we're going to hit uh, Assign. And now if we go to Material Mode, you can see that everything is green. The reason is because we only have one material here. So this is the material for the entire thing. So if I change this back to white, you can see it's changing. Oh, gosh. It's changing the entire thing. So the way you fix this is by going ahead in this little plus icon and then hitting New again. So then we'll call this green. And we'll call this white. And then <laughs> hit assign now. Now the green material, when we change it, will actually be only that area. And it will be just green, which is nice. There we go. So if you go out of tab, you can see the color now. So uh, if we look at it from other angles, you can see it's kind of sharp still. You can see it's kind of messed up. So we'll go ahead and hit, uh, go up to object, uh, shade smooth, and then go to the material tab, modifier tab, sorry, add a modifier, subdivision surface, and then all of these numbers need to be on three. So three, three, and three for the quality. Now, if you scroll in just a wee bit, you can see we have a little bit of rippling here, which is, of course, because we have one center point, which is not good for modeling. That's why the icosphere, uh, that's why the sphere is just really not good and the icosphere is much better. But I'll use the iris because it's already really set up. We just got to fix a couple of things up. So we'll go, we're going to go back to vertice mode here. Select that. And then select this vertice right here in the center. Hit delete. We're going to delete that bad boy. We're going to delete the vertice because we don't need it. Now, I'm going to select one of these vertices around the edge and then hold down Shift and Alt. And then oop, shift and alt and then click and a couple times until I get the ring. Sometimes it's going to do like that, which is not what we need. It's going to go off the edge like that. It's going to go and select all that. We don't need that. We only need it to select the ring. So we're going to hold down alt and shift and then click. Hopefully it should select the ring. If it doesn't, just click somewhere else and then just try it again over and over again until you get it right. There we go. So now with that done, we're going to hit F to create a face. And now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing, but we're going to select all of these rings. So with this one still selected, I'm going to hold down shift and alt and then select that ring. And then I'm going to hold down Shift and Alt and select this. Nope. Select this. Nope. Select this. Nope. Select this. Nope. It works. Sometimes it works better with the angle, too. So if we go ahead and hold down Shift, select a couple of these vertices, let, let Blender know this is the direction we want to go, and then do it, then it works. There we go. All right. So with all that done, I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, S, Z, 0 to scale the 0 on the Z axis. Then left click to confirm that. Now our eyeball is kind of oblong, which is weird. So we're going to hit G, Y to move it down like that, make it a little bit better. Eyeballs aren't actually round. The front of your eye is a little more flat than the other stuff. Maybe not this flat. But we're going to go ahead and we can always fix that. If you just want, you can pull these up a little bit, just a little bit like that. Just round it out just a little bit so it's not totally flat, which is a good idea. Um, so we do something like that. There we go. So now it's not totally flat. It's a little bit of a round edge to it, which looks nice. Now, what I want to do for the actual uh, pupil part of it, uh, for the black part of your eye, 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, have all of these vertices selected on face mode. So we'll just select that one in the center, the big giant little plate in the center disk, I guess. Go back to the material tab, hit the plus icon once again, hit new. We'll call this one, of course, black, and then we'll hit a sign, a sign. Then we'll change the base color to actually black. Now, you can see we have a problem here. The problem is, is that we have these weird looking star things because we have the subdivision surface on. So it's subdividing this and kind of rounding the edges, which is not what we need at all. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead, open up the right hand side tab here and turn the mean crease all the way up. That which kind of fixes it, but you can see we also still have these little weird little lines here, which is not what I need at all. That's not what we need even a little bit. All right, so cool. Now, with all that out of the way, we can work on the material some more. Turn the specular and the specular tint all the way down. There we go. Um, and then the roughness, we'll go ahead and, uh, and make sure that's on, uh, on uh, zero as well. So now we have a solid black eye, which is nice. And then in the, uh, the green right here, we'll go up to the green. Turn the specular all the way up, specular tint all the way up, and the roughness almost all the way down, maybe like a 0 0.05. And the same thing with the white color. Turn the specular all the way up, specular tint, roughness, almost all the way down to a little bit more than the green. So 0 0.017 looks good. I like C's. I like C's. All right, so now with the rest of our material, the rest of our material I've already created. So I'm gonna go ahead and just move that out the way, move this over to the side, turn our overlays off. Now, what I've done is over here, I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this to the side here a little bit. Uh, drag our window into two and change this to the shader editor. Now, if I were to go ahead and just open up that material that I had did before, which is uh, this material, uh, you can see, well, it's going to be messed up now, but, but you, you, you see what I had before at the beginning. All right, there we go. I did. I undoed, I, I undoed that far, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the solid view portion. You can see now here we have this, like I said, we still have the same exact, um, the same exact looking vertices. But like I said, when we have the uh the eye being solid black you can't tell so don't even worry about that guys um so there we go in material mode uh what i've done here is in this area all in this area right here what i've done if i can select it <laughs> go to face like mode select all of this area right here this whole green area i've made the the green color now in that said green color what i've done is i've added a this, well, it already had a principal BSD F shader. So I took the principal BSD F shader, which as you know, we just made just like a green color. It was just like this when I started, right? Not that ugly color or green, but it looked like this. Um, and then what I did was I didn't want just a solid color because I wanted to kind of come out from the iris, from the, from the black part of the eye, the people. So what I did was I hooked up a color ramp node. And this color ramp node seemingly did nothing. It just kind of merged the two colors, kind of merged the two colors that I had together, which was in between this this color right here and I can see it's very very close to the end because it didn't work if I didn't do that um, so what I've done is it's just that little in-between yellowy color which is not very good looking so then I said well how can I fix this so I grabbed a gradient texture which is just shift a search by the way color ramp right there color ramp so I didn't say that and then shift a gradient texture and then I grabbed that gradient texture and I plugged that into the color ramp of course, this seemingly did nothing as well because I didn't have a mapping node or anything else. But now I can tell it did something because it's added the darker green color along with it. It is a very, very mix, very small mix between the two of them. It's not either or. So now, we, now what I did was I needed to go ahead and add in a mapping node. And what I did was the mapping node I had to play around with a little bit. But I hit Shift A, Search, Mapping, oops, Mapping, and I grabbed this. And now you can see all of the values over here are all on zero except for the scale, which is all on one. I did change the scale from from 1 to 0.8 on the X and the Y. And then I just did that. So I, I minus them by 2. So I'm going to put this on 1. You see what it looks like when I plug it in. It looks like um, this. And then I did the scale. Well, you're not going to be able to tell because I didn't do the texture coordinate. Let me leave this on 1 for now. And then I'll add in. I'll, we'll change it when I add the texture coordinate. So I went ahead and did one last thing. Hit Shift A. Added in a search for texture coordinate. And I grabbed the texture coordinate and plugged in the object into the mapping. And now you can see this is what it looked like. But I wanted it to be a little bigger from the center out. So I changed the scale to from 1 to uh, a 0.8. So I made it bigger. You see, this has to be on this has to be. Let me just say it a couple times and snap. This has to be on quadratic sphere or else it will not work. You would think it would be on radial, but it's not. Radial is literally just like a clock or like a loading bar. Doesn't work that way. It doesn't work on quadratic. Doesn't work on anything else. It has to be on quadratic sphere um, to gradient from the center. So, um, but yeah. So I hope you boys and girls enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Um, but until then, bye. -bye.